Next week on KCPT, you'll have the rare chance to take an intimate journey inside an American high school. With unprecedented access to students and teachers, 180 Days explores a public school in Washington, D.C., where only 7% of the students are deemed proficient in math, and the dropout rate is through the roof. Kansas City School Superintendent Steve Green is facing many of those same challenges, and in just a moment, we'll hear his reaction to this PBS series. But first, here's a sneak peek. What happens to our students if nobody pays attention to it? We were all horribly shocked when we saw that we had a 7% proficiency rate in math. It actually dropped by 50% from the year before, and it was an issue. One of my friends, Desmond, that was like my brother. He took this guy iPhone, and they shot him, and he died right there. And that's when I changed my life around. People would judge you all day when they don't really even know who you is. It's like a whole rack of outsiders looking in, but they're looking in like the wrong way. Education is the civil rights. This is the civil day. rights issue. The civil rights issue of our day. We keep getting bombarded with slogans and ways from outside on how we should improve the inside. Come live here for a while, then tell us how to change it. Come in here, check it out. 180 days a year inside of an American high school coming up this Monday night starting at 8 on KCPT. Joining us now is the superintendent of the Kansas City, Missouri School District, Dr. Stephen Green. Thank you so much for being with us. You know, Thank if you. filmmakers came to you and said, you know, we want to come to your one of your high schools for a year, what would you tell them? I'd invite them. You would? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I would uh, welcome that opportunity for them to see the uh, tremendous talent that we have among teachers, the successes that we have with students, and, and the challenges that we face in a realistic, uh, you know, upfront and candid uh, recognition of the challenges that we face. Now, while this show will be seen all across the PBS system on Monday night, we gave you a preview of this program so you could see it for yourself. Mm -hmm. What did you think? And what most stood out for me was the struggle uh, of Prin Principal Minor as she desperately tried to work with her teachers and with her students and to lead them uh, to save the lives of children. And uh, that is something that has happened in urban school districts across the country. It's happening here in Kansas City. One of the big themes that comes out of the whole series, and this is a series that occurs over two nights on, on public television, is the fact that there is a huge dropout in America. And as you'll see in the program, every 26 seconds, a high school student drops out in America. First 26 seconds at school. I'm scared. I get a full body scan. I'm treated like a criminal, like a suspect. So why bother? Statistics from last year, Kansas City having the poorest graduation rate in the state, 57.2%. Dropout rate is a big issue for you. Yes, it's critical. What are you doing about it? Well, we created an Office of Student Intervention, and with that office, we attack the issues of dropouts, um, attendance problems and truancy. Uh, those, they tend to run together. And uh, that Office of Student Intervention has been given uh, the authority and, and the permission to explore whatever it takes almost to, to get students back. We've reclaimed students uh, that had, had left the system. Uh, we also go out and visit. We make home visits. I've gone on home visits. Our board chair, Mr. Eric Leonard West, has gone on home visits with the team uh, that goes out to make visits to home after homes after we have done the uh, process of making phone calls and have had no success, uh, then we out. We actually moved to going out and visiting homes. Now, it used to be you'd send truancy officers around the district. They'd pick up a kid. Mm -hmm. They'd send them back to school, but then they'd be back home again. Mm -hmm. they, would, they wouldn't stay in mm -hmm. school. So last year, you and the district went to the Kansas City, Missouri City Council Correct. and asked for a far stricter anti-truancy uh, ordinance mm -hmm. and city council complied. Correct. And there was a new ordinance that said there would be a $500 fine slapped on parents if they didn't keep their kids in school. Mm -hmm. 
What has been the impact on that in, as far as you're concerned? Well, the impact has been that I think it's uh, a wake-up call for, for many uh, students and parents uh, that we have that ordinance. Uh, it's something that we, we use as a last resort. We work in the, we have a truancy court that we've set up and it's, it's like a courtroom in which parents have to come in and explain to a judge uh, what, what are they doing to improve uh, the, the student's attendance and to discourage truancy. And uh, that intervention we think is helped a great deal. We've seen students who had 50% uh, uh, attendance rate jump to 80% attendance rate. Uh, students who've had even less than that, 30% attendance rates jump up to 70, 80% attendance rate. So we think it's having the desired effect that we wanted. Are some parents getting $500 fines? No parent has gotten the $500. No? The close. But uh, the, the goal was not to have to go there if we didn't have to. Now, the last time you, you appeared on any of KCPT's programs, you were the interim mm -hmm. superintendent. Today, you are the permanent superintendent. So for that, we say congratulations. Thank you. But instead of having champagne and caviar and lobster to celebrate that, you still are under all sorts of pressure because we read in the newspaper, we see on our TV screens that the Missouri legislature is again now trying to strip the Kansas City, Missouri School District and, and take over state control over this district again. Mm. Uh, it's already passed the Missouri Senate, a bill that mm. would provide immediate state takeover. It passed unanimously. Even the Kansas City senators voted unanimously mm -hmm. for that to happen. Are you just at this point in time saying this is going to be a fait accompli, or are you heading to Jefferson City, sort of, you know, trying to get legislators to change their mind on mm -hmm. this? What What are you doing at this point? Well, first of all, I have to recognize politics at play and and how that uh, Im impacts and may influence uh, the educational process. And the and the the what I have asked my team to do is make sure that we not. Uh, get uh, distracted or discouraged or are derailed by some of the political uh, back and forth that will go on as a bill makes its way through the various channels and, and et cetera. But um, I've been to Jeff City uh, to testify and will probably go again sometime in the near future. But my appeal is not to uh, uh, kill any kind of effort to uh, address the, uh, the issue of a school district that's unaccredited and not uh, improving. Uh, my appeal has been if a district is improving, is stabilized and made improvement, there ought to be a Laws or some kind of provision that would allow that school district to continue uninterrupted. We're making progress. We are financially stable. We had a perfect audit. Uh, I, I don't know if many districts around this area could say they had zero findings on their audit. And the fact that we're financially stable allows us to divert resources to the students for the Office of Intervention, those kinds of things, those kind of unique programs that will meet the needs of our students. Well, when people will see the statistic then that says you have the poorest graduation rate in the state at 57.2 percent and you say you're making progress mm -hmm. give us a couple of examples that we can really latch on to and say oh that's that's right. progress I understand right it'll move to 70 percent 72 73 percent if we if we documented it right now so it's well beyond what the Your graduation uh, rate. graduation okay. rate right so that what, was from January yeah. of 2012 mm -hmm. was 57.2 percent you now we'll move uh, we'll move to about 70 okay. percent but that's still far below the expectation. So even though we'll make dramatic improvement, we're climbing out of a pretty deep hole. And so, in, in essence, progress is progress, but not making a certain standard is not making a certain standard. So we're kind of in that in that space right now where we're making significant gains. Students are showing better literacy scores. Students are showing better uh, math competency scores. But at the same time, um, we still have a long way to go. Dr. Stephen Green, thank you so much for being with us on The Local Show. Thank you. By the way, you can catch the first installment of 180 Days, A Year Inside of an American High School, this Monday night, starting at 8 on KCPT. Then next Tuesday at 7, I want to draw your attention to a very special Tavis Smiley Reports, Education Under Arrest, about breaking the school-to-prison pipeline. And some of that program actually takes place right here in Missouri. Locking an 11-year-old up for any length of time doesn't make sense. I can't stand it here. I can't wait to go home. I'm never going to do nothing ever again. I'm, I swear to God, I'm not. Tavis Smiley reports education under arrest Tuesday at 7 on KCPT.